hi guys welcome to our second session or our second video so today we're gonna be doing or we're gonna be busy with what we call application of mass spring system so we're gonna be busy we're gonna be um i'm gonna be unpacking and explaining mass spring system let's say you are having a spring with mass m or having a spring which consists of mass m we call this a mass spring system we call it mass spring system a mass spring system it is governed by mx double prime plus bx prime plus kx which is equals to f of t where m represent the mass b represent um b represent your damping constant and k represent your spring constant well you might not be familiar with the first equation which i wrote which is mx double prime plus bx um, double prime plus kx which is equal to f of t perhaps you might be familiar with something of this nature plus b dx over dt plus kx which is equal to f of t perhaps you might be familiar with something of this nature and today i want to tell you already the first one and the second one they actually uh, mean the same thing where all the value of m represent the mass the value of p they represent the, the damping constant the value of k um they represent the spring constant and the value of f of t is what we call your input function your input function some other books they might call it um input input force so this is the equation which governs a mass spring system when you talk about a mass spring system this is the equation which will be governing a mass spring system. This is the equation that we'll be using to solve mass spring system um, problems. This is the equation which governs the mass um, spring system. Well, while we're still under the mass spring system, we draw our little box here with mass M. Under the mass spring system, the center of the mass the center of the box represent what we call equilibrium meaning that well we know that if you are having a force let's say a pulley and then we have a box here we know that our free body diagram you're going to have um, something like FG acting downwards and then you're gonna have tension which is acting um, upper so some of the forces some of the forces is going to be t minus um mg which is our fg but then with the mass spring system it's actually the opposite what do i mean by the the, the the opposite with mass spring system going up is positive i mean it's negative and then going down um it's actually positive you will see when we do problems that um, when you're given a, pro a, a conditions and they say it act above certain meters above um, equilibrium, your answer is going to be negative. When they say it act certain meters below equilibrium, your answer is going to be positive. You understand? So these are some of the things that you need to be careful with when you're working with a mass spring system. So 
what will what 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 are they required what are you required to know you need to you are required to know how to calculate x of t you are required to calculate how to know x of t what is x of t x of t is just um the equation of motion of the spring mass system at any time t so you are required to calculate the equation of of the motion you are also required to calculate the period the frequency um you are required to know the angular frequency we have the period frequency angular frequency what else the amplitude and also the amplitude so now we're going to unpack all these things and the governing equation for calculating the period frequency angular frequency and amplitude in most cases you will be given a sinusoidal function which is cos and sine of the form a cos of double t plus b sine of double t which is equals to r cos of um, double t minus beta so from the function which you will be given or the function which you have calculated you will easily identify your w which is referring to um angular frequency and you can see you have your r r represent your amplitude which can be calculated calculated by taking the square root of a squared plus b squared where a and b where a and b are constant provided a and b are constant and then the period the period is equals to t is denoted by letter t which is equals to 2 pi over the frequency angular frequency and then the frequency we know from high school which is 1 over the period is 1 over period what am i doing here it's 1 over the period and then we calculated the angular frequency the frequency and the period and then how do you calculate x of t to calculate x of t remember we're dealing with what we're dealing with a mass spring system what is a mass spring system mass spring system is the application for method of undetermined coefficient so you are going to calculate x of t using method of undetermined coefficient method of undetermined coefficient 